Well, hello again, everybody. Dan Finn here to talk with you a little bit more about structured installment sales an IRS compliant method of selling your business or other qualifying highly appreciated asset like real estate or land, which allows you to defer, reduce, and in some rare cases, completely eliminate capital gains taxes in the process. If you wanna learn more about the mechanics of how structured installment sales work, check out my other presentations on my firm's YouTube channel or see my 2021 article in the CPA journal entitled, An Introduction to Structured Installment Sales. So for this episode, I just wanted to give you a peek into the process clients will need to go through before selling because of the significant money saving potential. So I received a call earlier in this week from someone selling their business. Now for, to protect their privacy, I've changed the type of industry they're in, the city they live in, but otherwise the numbers I'm sharing with you are the exact same numbers I used in the analysis. This particular couple, 60 years old, both of them, uh, they have an accounting practice. They live in San Bernardino, California. They started this business back in, uh, say, 35 years ago on their kitchen table. So they have no basis to speak of. It's all gain, all goodwill. And when they sell this, they're going, they hope they can sell it for $2 million. So let's take a quick look at the impact of what happens if they sell that business for $2 million in cash and they don't consider a structured installment sale. Um, I have, I like, there, there are a lot of commercially available or readily available online tax calculators. I like this one here at uh, smartasset.com. I find it real easy to use. So you plug in the initial values here. Uh, let's go ahead and say they're going to sell for um, $2 million and married filing jointly, live in San Bernardino, make sure all the numbers are right. So if they don't do anything, they just sell this for cash at closing the $2 million, they're going to have to pay $659,000 in taxes. That's not insignificant. Now, if you look down below here, you'll see the marginal and effective tax rate. Some people might say, well, why is the effective tax rate more than 20%? I thought 20% was the maximum federal rate for um, capital gains taxes. Well, that's true. But anytime you get over a half a million dollars, uh, it, it goes from from 15 percent, it goes into the 20 percent range. Uh, but then there's also a 3.8 percent net investment income tax that is going to be assessed on here. So instead of now they know what they're going to pay if they pay what they're going to pay if they sell for cash. Let's take a look at what happens if they get a structured installment sale quote, because this isn't valid. This is just a hypothetical case. And we're uh, showing some potential numbers. Hey, here's an example of show that shows you what happens if you take the same $2 million over here on the right and you buy a structured installment sale that's going to pay, in this instance, approximately uh, estimated $20,035 a month guaranteed for 10 years starting in the next taxable year. Now, as a practical matter, they may decide they don't want to defer all of this. They may want to keep some of it. But just for this illustration, let's just show what, ha show what happens if they defer the entire $2 million. Um, in addition to the $2 million that they get back spread out over 10 years, they also pick up over $400,000 in tax-deferred interest. That tax-deferred interest is going to fi be filed in future years on Form 6252. So now that we know what the numbers look like if they defer, what's the tax impact of something like this? Let's go back to the tax calculator. Now, instead of selling for $2 million, let's look at this, what happens each year? So each year, they're going to do it for 10 years. So they're getting $200,000 per year. And uh, because they're earning an additional 40420 now we're looking at uh, 90,420 is the income that they're gonna earn. And when you plug those numbers in, you can see that you're going to pay $45,709 per year times 10. So not all at once, you're paying it over time. Plus look at, look at what that does to your effective tax rate. It takes it down significantly both at the federal and the state level. So now, if you add these two together and look at them side by side, you say, okay, what do these look like? Cash one sale, they pay 659,000 in taxes. 
if they do the structured installment sale, their tax capital gains is only $45,000 a year times 10 years, $457,000. The advantage of structuring it is they save nearly $202,000. Uh, this all assumes, by the way, future tax brackets don't change. Everything's always subject to change in the future. Nobody knows what it's going to be. But if everything stays the same as it is, this is what they would probably end up earning. So that's not insignificant. Um, I think that's, uh, in addition to that, th let's think of some of the other advantages for these folks. They have, um, they have uh, assets that they've set aside for retirement that they don't have to access now until after age 70. You can defer that up to, I think it's 72 or maybe even 74 now. So they can let those assets ride. They don't have to access their retirement funds now. They can defer Social Security all the way to age 70. So they also have those assets, allow those assets more time to grow. So a lot of advantages of why they want to do it this way. So um, I think if you have a situation you want to discuss, give me a call. I'd love to go over it with you and help you analyze your situation. Just want to remind you here, this is a hypothetical situation. Uh, I'm not a CPA or a tax attorney and can't give tax legal or accounting advice, advice but I can certainly talk with your advisors and steer them to the right sections of the code so you can get the appropriate advice you need to enter into something like this. Um, if you have questions and want to discuss anything further, uh, check out our companion website, mystructuredsale.com, or give me a call. Let me know what we can do to assist. The emails and phone numbers are available on those sites. I hope all's well. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you for the opportunity to be of service and all the best to you.